Hi, I'm Eliana. I'm going to um, be discussing both articles of the Martha Nussenbaum article of objectification and the Thomas Nagel article on sexual perversion. Martha Nussenbaum article on objectification argues multiple concepts which questions the morality behind objectification. She eventually concludes that objectification is dependent on the situation. It can only be judged depending on the context. She discusses the works of McConan and Dworkin, who argue that we assess male and female sexual relations based on a larger social context and our history, which is comprised of female subordination. She says, and I quote, The difference between an objectionable and benign use of objectification will be made by the overall context of the human relationship in question. So what exactly does this mean? Well, one theorist named Lawrence concludes that having one person be objectified in a sexual manner can be and is good for the actual relationship, only as long as there is a previous stated agreement of mutual respect. He says that when passion ascends, boundaries are typically lost, meaning that the people in the relationship are more, for a lack of a better term, free. She also discusses the ideas of Kant. Kant seals the genital organs as not a part of our bodies, but merely, and I quote, that the genital organs are fungible, not non-human things, just like tools. Sexual desire for Kant disposes of any sort of respect anyway. In the Sexual Perversion article, Thomas Nagel explores sexual perversion and questions if it's really perverted or if we, have, we as a society have just deemed it have just deemed certain feelings as perverted because they are not, as we would call them in our society, normal. His eventual argument is that sex is an appetite. It is similar to hunger, and since appetite is normal and an expected feeling, all sex is normal. He deems the weird sex, such as sadism, bestiality, and masochism, as a failure to communicate. By this he means that they are missing something in their own sexual lives and it, can only be and it can only be accomplished if they were to communicate with their partner. So therefore, it is not perverted, just misunderstood. Henceforth, once something has been established as sex sexual, according to Thomas Nagel, the question of whether or not it is natural or perverse no longer applies. Thank you <laughs> for listening. Bye.